This video will lead you through performing a resection, adding a wall station, and then exporting the data so they can be used in your software package. To begin my resection, I'm going to go into my project. I'm going to create a new job. We'll call it resection. And I'm going to use my template from the last job setup, which will include my levels and active maps. I can go into that more later. Uh, linked file is where we can link in our uh, control. That's our CSV file where all our stations are kept, so I'll accept that we'll move forward. So you can see our control file is there. I can whittle it down if I wanted to, to go level by level. Now to perform the resection, I'm going to, in the mines module, there we are, I'm going to measure and I want to do a resection. So I'm connected to my instrument, adjust, And I'll type in my instrument position, we'll just call it 100, and my code. Now we are at zero for my instrument height, except that. And I need to go to phase one. So what I need to do, I can tap here, and from here I can turn my laser on and check my prism constant. It's the prism I want, the underground nodal prism. And I want to, I can either click or type in, so I'll uh, click on 700. That's my point I want to use. And point to target number one, measure. Target locked. Observation stored. Target locked. Taking phase two now. Observation okay. stored. I'll go to my next point. So I'll just show that I can type it in. And it'll find it. It's found it there. So got a big long list of stations you can type it in rather than have to select it on the screen many ways to do this in trimble access target locked Entering phase one observation stored measuring phase two target locked observation stored there we go so Change here's our phase. details that we've got so now I can um, add my third point my three-point resection It'll be the 700 minus 3. I'll just click on it instead of typing. Yep, that's the one I want to do. My instrument has already turned to it, and I'll measure. Target locked. We'll store another point. Observation stored. Target locked. Taking the second reading. Observation stored. And as you can see, Changing we're at phase. Zero. So our results, when you scroll down, We've got uh, eight seconds of orientation, which is uh, good enough for me to continue my job. Station setup completed. Now that we've got a great three-point resection values, we'll add our next station, 700 minus four. So I want to go to measure and measure rounds. And the point that we're gonna call, keep it in sequence, 700 minus four. Code 99, and I'll point to 700 minus 4, there we go, and we'll measure. Target locked. Observation stored. Phase 1 taken, to phase 2 now. Target locked. Observation stored. And now that has been done, we can end the phase. Round completed. And now we want to add it to CSV. So add it to CSV, close, exit, and now your station has been added to your control file in your survey. Now we can export our job file in the formats that we want to go to reports. I want to export this one in SERPAC as a SERPAC data recorder format transfer that one. Also very useful is the survey report. I'll view this one. It's a quick HTM and this gives you all the details of your jobs. Uh, 
this is great for your field notes, for your um, QA, QC uh, details of your instrument precisions, your collimations, and then it gives it, there's our station backside, our setup point. resection data and our least squares adjustment. Now also important is you see that we've got our reduced point down here so now we have a hard copy available for our survey database. That's how quick and easy it is to do a resection and add new survey stations underground with the Trimble S series. Stay tuned for further videos on importing the data into your mining software package and you can check these out at hlgs.com.au and Underground Mine Survey. To learn more about this function and to arrange a demo at your mine, contact sales at hlgs.com.au or dustin at hlgs.com.au.